today's lesson is how to use OBS Studio, how to screen record using it. OBS Studio is not like other screen recorder softwares. It's a little bit different. You have to add sources to create a screen recording. So let me demonstrate it for you right now. This is gonna be a quick tutorial, straight to the point. That thing long, longer than 10, 20 minutes like other YouTubers. This is your source. This is your scene, this is your audio mixer, this is your scenes transition, and this is your control. You add sources. Click on the plus sign to add sources. This is the audio input capture. I'll click on it. You can name it anything you want. I'll just leave the name. Leave the check mark, make source visible. and you press OK. And now you see me talking on the microphone. I'm not using this microphone. Currently, I'm using flashback to record this tutorial. Click on the plus sign again. Then you look for display capture. Same as audio input capture, name it whatever you want. You press OK. Press OK. You click the monitor, the display you want. I only have only one monitor. I'm working with a laptop. So you click the first display. You, you can uncheck it or check it. It doesn't matter. It's capture the mouse. Click OK, and your recording is a is a screen is a like a mirror because I'm using it currently right now. So let me close this, and once you're ready to record, you click on Start Record, and when you're ready to stop record, you stop it. You can also start live streaming, start virtual camera, and studio mode for intense streaming that you can edit. If you do want your webcam to appear, you currently click on the plus sign and you click on video capture device. You click on OK and you see me. I hope you learned something from this short tutorial. I went straight to the point. If you did learn something, like, subscribe, share. I'm dropping videos almost every single day and you might learn something.